Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, back for more Malifaux, this time from the Resurrectionist Faction, Goria. Let's start with Matt White, and try to do the same incorporeal thing I'd done on the Onryo and other models associated with Kirai and Koku. So, Goryo are spirits of fallen warriors who died in battle, and draw lesser spirits to them. Uh, essentially a power-up version of the Onryo. Realistically, these are also one of the more annoying models to assemble, and I'm pretty sure I got a few parts wrong, even looking at the instructions online, which were pretty good, actually, so... I'm going to put a coat of white over everything and basically paint it as a series of shades and lighting effects. And if this isn't completely solid, that's fine. Again, I had no idea how I typically paint my prime, excuse me, my Malifaux models in black for a grittier look and had no idea. I was going to paint them when I assembled them. They've been on my table for a while. And, well, the experimenting I've done has worked out pretty satisfactorily, so... This is something I will be likely doing with incorporeal entities in general moving forward. Wise, these guys are wrecking balls. Muscle fair Kirai's crews. With all the intertwined body parts, this is going to be a challenge to paint, so that's a challenge I am definitely up to. Apply to the other, let it dry completely, and move on. Alright, both models are prepped. Gonna take, I think, Moldy Skin 09149 and use that this time. I believe I used Bloodless Skin the last time and try something a little darker. I'm still gonna do it as a lighting effect. brush than that. Thinning it with uh, two or three parts of water, one part paint. And doing the visible skin, which is going to be really tricky because of the angle here, and I don't see any around the neck. I'm going to do the other one really quick, too. And again, I don't see any skin around the neck, but... Then again, it's covered up with ectoplasm from angry ghosts. So that being the case, I'll take Ghost White 09063 and get the masks now. So this is an off-white, not a straight white. I'll just do one-to-one -one on the ratio of water to paint on this. And 
doing them on both because these are pretty quick with only a tiny number of areas each. And the true silver 09207. You know what? I'll go a little darker actually and do black and or no, tarnished steel 09206. Go a little darker on this one based on how the uh, on, on rail turned out. I did them a while back. Okay, so this one's got two swords hanging scabbards off its back. I'll leave that be. For now, I'm just got the blade. And this one only has one sword. That dry completely before moving on. Oh, there's a little more of the flesh here. It's got this rope hanging open, so we'll go back into that moldy skin. Get that and just check the other one real quick. I don't see it. So, uh, you know what? I think I can get his scabbard too and be okay. So, for that, I think. I think I'll take red brick 09001. He's something a little darker. Keeping the brush real wet. This is an unconventional way of painting things. But I think it turned out nice. I think it's turned out nice so far on doing incorporeal entities. Get some some transparency. Kind of carefully trying to dab it on through the gap there. Let that dry completely before moving on, but that's a nice start to it. Okay. And with this purple 09024. Hmm. Yeah. I want to use lighter colors for the main, I think. Side. I don't want to get any of this on it by accident. I'm just going to have a new. Anyway, if I put it right there, I'll try again. One to two parts water for one part paint. And avoiding the enraged spirits going for the head or coming out of it. Also trying to be careful to avoid the belts here. Because those will be done in a different and actually a darker color. Ghosts a little anyway. I'm just gonna roll that. See if I can't absorb some of that. And not too well. That's fine. I'll just work with what I've got. Alright, I 
that's the hardest of it. Something with this many undercuts. I wouldn't probably advise a partial assembly. I generally don't do that, but that's also kind of difficult on some of these Malifaux models because so many of these more complex sculpts have parts that are heavily interconnected with each other. And as if it wasn't bad enough, we have a pandemic to deal with here in the States. Now, we have forest fires. Two in California, two in Colorado, and one in Oregon. Uh, and yeah, I'm in one of those areas, so... Uh, okay. And for the other one, I'm going to use Blood Red 09003. This one should go more easily. Careful not to hit the skin with this. Since I've hit the belt, but I do intend to do the belts at when darker colors. Okay, computer's okay so far. Get really jumpy lately. Keeping my brush nice and wet during all of this. Letting the paint flow. Working, letting it work with me. Instead of forcing it. Okay, and that is either a ghost or part of his bell will leave that be. Keeping my brush very wet during all of this. No, I'm wrong. That little under thing is part of his main robe as well. Now I'm doing all this before I do the oh boy, I just hit my thumb into it. I'm doing all this before I hit the base coat on the base itself. Because I don't want this bleeding on to my basing. I can try to go underneath. There's a uh, several connection points here. But the point is, this robe is meant to be flying off the ground. Okay. I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and actually let that dry before I do any more base coats. So, back in a bit. All right, next up, let me get Ritalik Blue 09115. That does not look mixed up properly enough. Let's try that on camera. That's better.
go over his belt very carefully. So this is a pretty dark blue and I used a pretty bright red, a fairly bright red for the uh, bulk of the robe there. So should stand out well enough. That. I, looks like I have to touch up the red a little bit. That's okay. I can definitely do that. But that's something I'll have to do all of camera. Okay, that's not going to work, so we'll do it the other way and just dilute and soak. Now, I also want to use this on the uh, sword for the grip. Right there. Um, right there. And now for this one, I'm going to use pine green 09010. Sashes. And it is tricky because of how much and how many things kind of intertwine here. Brush the wrong one there. Again, on the grip. And on the grip of his two spares. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take pure black 09037 now. I'll only do a one to one on this. is fairly tricky because of all the undercuts. I just kind of realized the Guru have a hairstyle very similar to Dracula from the Bram Stoker version. try do a few touches on the red here and then I should be able to finish up when I come back okay new gold zero nine zero five one. don't need much of this I'm not sure if katana is meant to be singular and plural or just singular, to be fair. So. Okay, I'm going to sculpt a guard on that one. Okay. Now I'm going 
to take pale green 09012. Get some ghosts. I get to the mask. Thinking retroactively, I could have made this blend a little better if I had done wet on wet on a step now I think about it, but I didn't. will have been some of the most difficult to assemble model I've done in a while. A lot of undercuts, a huge amount of pieces. And they look great though. Okay, my computer's starting to act up a bit. Let it focus in. There we go. This is just something that takes patience to do with. the other one, and then I can finish up base coats. So we're getting there. Alright, the subservient spirits are all painted up. Now I need cloudy gray 09089. We'll get the base coat on the stonework on the base. This is just a quick custom sculpting I do. Just a layer of sculpting putty in the base's recess. And I'm gonna figure out what good size funnel is. Let's use this again. So, in this case, for water, I'm just using enough to keep the brush moist but not overly wet and just enough to thin the paint. But, um, okay. Uh, but yeah, just a quick blob of sculpting putty into the 
recessed area of the base with a pattern carved in while it's still wet. And then once it dries, just glue your model on top as normal. Now, you can do this on slot-based models as well, but it takes a little more work to accommodate that slot, which generally speaking you won't want to cut off because it's a key anchor point for stability. Okay, apply that to the other one. Once it's all dry, I can shade this and uh, keep moving on. All right. Next, we have the eyes in the matte black 09037, kind of mimicked what I did on the Gorio, on the Onrio, excuse me, earlier. So, a tiny dot of this. Finest brush, so I can get a grip on it. Keeping the brush moist but not overly wet. Boy, eyes are really vague on this. at this point. So, Stormy Gray, 09088. This turned out really well so far. And thin that out at a normal one-to-one. -one. One part water to one part paint, and just carefully go over the base. Do not want to nick the model itself at any time. I do want to try to see if I can get into all the little cracks, though. Is incredibly hot so this will dry fairly quickly your dry time is going to depend on humidity and heat and it's also very dry because there is a forest fire going on in the area so uh, <laughs> because of that I can't open my windows to cool off either okay let that completely dry apply the other one and then I can highlight and wrap up all right time to highlight Emerald Green 09103. And this one is a metallic darker green. And I'm going to take a ragged feather brush. Let's see here. This one will do something like that. No water, straight paint only. I'm going to rub most of it out on the paper towel I have until it there's nothing left. And lightweight dust. And this is going to go over the entire model and it's using me one highlight. Focus on the readily visible areas only. I'm refreshing from the paper towel. I can also refresh from the paint on my palette as needed. Go 
come against any raised areas. Those edges will help catch the paint. Apply to the other one and move on in a moment. All right, this one's highlighted Misty Gray 0900. The same dry brushing technique and just once over on the still look on the base here. Letting the uh, edges catch. Okay, and go back to the other one. Black again, zero nine zero three seven. And a flat head brush, smart like. There it is. brush moist but not overly wet using just enough water to thin the paint. Just gonna line the edge here. And the griot on a 50 millimeter base. Trying to go up to the stonework without going over as much as possible. Okay, apply to the other one, and there will be one more step before I finish up. All right, final step that I can do on camera anyway. The last thing to do is uh, varnish these things. Matte white. Too much of this. And I am just going to number the bases by writing the corresponding number on the reference card over the protective sleeve. I put them in, I can quickly and clearly mark which one has taken how much damage. So one. And Roman numeral two. And that is uh, it. Gorio from the Resurrection the Resurrectionist Faction of Malifaux. Got one more Resurrectionist video coming up next. And then we're going to stick with Malifo and just switch factions. Until then, I'm Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.